Darvin Ham is just sad. It's just it's just tragic what he's done to the Lakers. LeBron James in transition, you got to sprint back. And there's got to be some communication here. Rui Hachimura is going to have to take Sabonis. LeBron's got to sprint back and take Harrison Barnes. Anthony Davis can take the ball or someone else. But LeBron just stops at half court here. Two. This is coaching. This is disgusting. This is against the law. This is embarrassing. Anthony Davis, there's a down screen. I got to get my arms extended and attached to Sabonis so Herder's not curling right off this. You're nowhere to be found. This late in the season, you have no idea how to defend a down screen. There's 400 things you can do here. One, Anthony Davis can get up, jam the screener, use his body, show his hands, and Rui Hachimura can go under and meet Keegan Murray on the other side. If you're switching, switch it now. The Lakers are going to start in their idiot drop coverage and then say, hmm, actually, let's switch. Well, that's not how this works. What is LeBron James doing? Why are you not sprinting to the wing, getting your back to the baseline? As Trey Lyles cuts through, you cut through with him with your back to the baseline. That is just a wow. Why is Spencer Dinwiddie trying to avoid getting screened here? Just guard. It's you and Torian Prince. You'll switch it anyways. So, okay. So, uh, you have help right there in the middle of the floor. You could force De'Aaron Fox in the middle of the floor, but you got LeBron in the strong side corner. So, you got to get up and guard and show your hands and make sure De'Aaron Fox goes into that help. But you're playing off. You're backpedaling. Easy to get you in the air, too. Torian Prince doesn't even fake like he wants to. Why are you staring at the ball? Could you get Trey Lyles out of the paint, get low, and battle? Like, look at Torian Prince. How about now? Could you go over there and use the lower half of your body, your butt, to drive him out and box out? No. So, pff, easy tap back. So, a well-coached team, and maybe the Lakers next year will be well-coached, because this year, Darvin Ham is destroying this season. This ball gets swung to the wing, right? So, why is Jackson Hayes not in a defensive stance with his feet set? When the ball gets swung out, I'm boom. I'm out ready to guard. Max Christie's coming to the top of the key to help me. Not a great matchup on the perimeter, so I can shade De'Aaron Fox into that help in the middle of the floor. But Jackson Hayes isn't even kind of ready to guard here. De'Aaron Fox is going wherever he wants to. Coaching, coaching. The shot goes up. LeBron's got to get back. Torian Prince has got to get back. So you cannot have five Lakers players beneath the free throw line. This is going to happen every time. That's really tragic. Is this the Lakers giving up? Like, I know Darvin Ham is completely incompetent, but why can't you try and get back to Trey Lyles? You're ahead of Trey Lyles right now. Rui Hachimura, what are you doing? What? what, what? How do you even describe this defense from D'Angelo Russell? The ball's in the corner. Could D'Angelo Russell stay with Davion Mitchell? What is D'Angelo Russell doing? Why are you standing in the paint staring at the ball the whole time? There was a million things you could, first of all, this is why you jam the screener if you're going under. Use your body, show your hands, so that Davion Mitchell isn't pulling right off of this, so Austin Reeves can comfortably get under. By the way, why can't you hedge this right here? There's no place for, look at this, there's no place for Sabonis to roll to. Push Davion Mitchell out. What? <laughs> you have to guard this down screen. Please, Darvin Ham, leave this basketball team. Spencer Dinwiddie, switch it. It's you and Austin Reeves. You do nothing. Austin Reeves gets screened. How's he going to get under this handoff? He's going to be late. He was screened and you didn't guard it. I don't know why LeBron is just backpedaling to the middle of nowhere. Could you sprint over and take Sabonis? The problem is Dinwiddie, though, you're, you can see him leaning towards the screen. Obviously, that happens. Lakers are a real NBA tragedy. D'Angelo Russell is going to come all the way over and help right here. If you're Austin Reeves, do you, know, like, do you go over this? Do you know where your help is? Just show your hands. There's no place for De'Aaron Fox to go. Why are you gambling right here and letting him spin off you? The Lakers have no idea what they're doing in transition. D'Angelo Russell's got to take Kevin Herter. Is Austin Reeves communicating this? You got to take De'Aaron Fox. You're not getting back to Kevin Herter. So you're still scrambling to get back to Kevin Herter, and he's going to set a screen on both you and Anthony Davis. There is no such thing as jogging back in transition. LeBron, sprint back so you're in help so Anthony Davis can get up and stop the ball. You're walking back. It, it's 
just unbelievable. It's so it makes me very sad. It makes me very, very, very sad. Torian Prince is an extra defender and help. Could you communicate it? Austin Reeves, you got to know this, and you're forced into the middle of the floor. But is Torian Prince saying anything? How is this? Ugh. I mean, Austin Reeves should be keeping his back to the baseline as Davion Mitchell cuts through, so he's still seeing ball and Davion Mitchell's in front of him. But if you're Jackson Hayes, like you got to get up and guard the ball here. What is Jackson Hayes doing? You're playing. Look at you're just letting Sabonis walk into the charge circle. Rui Hachimura in transition. Get back, ready to guard someone. Where is Rui Hachimura getting back to? Where are you going? If Jackson Hayes knows he's switching here, then get up attached to Alex Len so you're ready to guard. Why are you five steps off Alex Len? So now you got to come uphill as Malik Monk's going downhill. A ball screen that is almost set on the block. There is no choice. There's no space. You must switch. It is an auto switch. There's nothing else to do here. There's no space for your dumb drop coverage. Spencer Dinwiddie is clearly trying to ice this screen. So where's Anthony Davis? Like, you got to get over here. You got to keep Malik Monk to the sidelines. And then where's the backside help? Max Christie, someone's got to get, you can't let the pass to Sabonis get made. So Anthony Davis is nowhere. Nobody moves on the weak side of the floor. And Sabonis, look at this. Sabonis is wide open. Keon Ellis is wide open. This is just beyond pathetic. Is this what we want our youth? Is this how we want our youth to play defense? Look, why can't Anthony Davis get up here? Why? Why can't you hedge this screen? There's no place for Sabonis to go. Get Malik Monk out of the paint. Look at this defense. Is this how you teach your kids? Coaching, 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 Darvin Ham. You must go under a handoff. You can never under any circumstance go over. So I'm up, I'm jamming the screener so Austin Reeves can go under and meet De'Aaron Fox on the other side. You go over the handoff, you are operating a layup line. Darvin Ham operates a layup line. This is gross. This I hope kids aren't watching this because this is not how you play defense. Anthony Davis, get up and hedge and get De'Aaron Fox out of the lane. No place for Sabonis to roll to. If De'Aaron Fox throws a skip pass as you push him towards the sideline, Austin Reeves can easily recover. Nope, let's have De'Aaron Fox have a full head of steam downhill and get in the paint. Layup line, Darvin Ham. 